Hello guys, um, welcome to a new series that I will be doing, which is called 10 Minute Reviews. This series I'll be reviewing some weapons and telling you what I think of them. We're going to be starting off with the more starting um, so we're going to start off with the Paris. And Paris uh, is like a bow type weapon that is easy to get, like, it's like, it's okay to get when you're a starter. So, pop into the skin. Waiting. That dance. Okay, so as you can see here, we already have the um, Paris L. Paris is quite powerful. A uh, lower level mission. I a lower level corpus mission to demonstrate the power. An as you can see, it is a stealth weapon, so we start us out there. Ship it's good to be used. Um, ensuring prompt delivery in and mission critical roles. Level missions, but as but you can strike. use it in higher level we missions just this. as well as you can use it in lower level missions. All you, you need to do is just use the right mods on it. Grumman, now I'm today, using quite good um, mods on it to allow it to really take down most enemies. Into the field. So right now we're doing the spy mission to show you the capabilities of this weapon. As you can see right there, the Paris has quite an okay zoom. Best, I mean it's, it's like a, quite a good zoom. Um, quite a slow charge, like a quite a fast charge rate. Don't need to be worried about the slow charge rates. Um, easy to destroy enemies with and easy to level up. So, you can do what I'm about to do here. Tenno, be on the lookout for increased Over here and go into C and they have a good Oh. Trigger the alarms now, and they will start destroying uh, the data. Oh, uh, right now you can see sounds made. Yeah. Oh, that is slow charge rate. I mean, quick, quick charge rate. You don't need that much anyways. If you want to go for a good attack, would go for charge and higher level. Higher level machines, you don't really need to go for charge. So, come over here and pick turn and I'll see. Oh, alarm. Lotus just said right there. And, um, we will easily be taking out that end. Paris is quite a reliable weapon until you get to a stage of getting her for dread and, uh, prime, like, put the Paris I'm in the sun. So if you like, um, if you like, I would all like the Sonos Wraith. And what I would do, I would stick with the Paris for a while, get the Sonos, see how you feel with it, but don't get rid of the Paris. Keep the Paris. If you like the Sonos more than get rid of the Paris and try and head, um, try and head towards the and head towards, like, try and get as much stuff as you can for the Red Veil to be able to get the Sinus Wraith. If you don't like that, I would just stick with the Paris because I have, I used to have the Sinus, but then I kind of bored of it. It's, it's quite a really powerful weapon, but type of weapon. It's more impact based than anything. Sarnos Wraith, it's a must have because of its um, extremely fast charge rate. It's like half a second. The so, yeah. If you trigger and, uh, now, the enemy will start destroying data. So, uh, after we get B. As you can see here as well. The Paris allows for quite high maneuverability, whereas something like the Gorgon is quite does like makes you quite slow but the power is just, not, just is like quite light so it allows you to okay. and so uh, you want to be adding mods like you want to be adding mods like um 
Duration. Definitely um, elemental mod. Okay. You want to have a high crit chance, so you want to go for uh, crit mods. Um, want to have like a well for if, like it depends what type of playstyle you go for. Let's say you go for a healthy playstyle. This is a good weapon, very good, and I would go for either Banshee, Loki, or Ash. I would I say I say Ash, and um, yeah. So. As you can see here, it's, I mean, I'm not right for that good delivery. with aiming, but I, I felt here comes the ambulance, and we're going to see how well the Harris can do against the ambulance. Ready for a surprise demonstration? I give you the ambulance. my reborn ambulance. Allow me to show you what she can do to these uh, <laughs> Tenno. Uh, 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 volunteers. Here we've, we're kind of just. Men like front deck are the reason Even though it's a low level, it's still quite a strong enemy you don't want to be facing. You want to get somebody with you whenever you do open air corpus missions. There you go, we killed it. Fix my ambulance. So uh, remember before when we had the fat dick and bald guy coming in before, Rod Beck? We're gonna have another ambulance and we're gonna see if we can try and defeat that as well. Cut the feed. As you can see right the ambulance uh run away for now. Ensures effortless time so, yeah. expression. Go for A. I am invisible. Turn up the thingy. The target console is nearby. But I do really try to stick to this bit. This has you to stay with like fire. Okay. Then I just double jump it. Yeah. Uh, this bit I kind of accidentally set off the alarm. All alarms have been triggered. You need I to still complete the data before okay, the okay, is complete. Heavy robotic signature detected. Lock and load. There you go. You got it. The so is still now we kill that. He's we focused. As you can see, it's still quite a good weapon, but my build isn't the best build. That I would go for a lot of crit and a lot of, um, of just pure damage. Plan for that for the most amount of damage possible. There. Okay. It's it's only doing like three rounds for clip. But for mainly because these guys are dying quickly, but so um here's the ambulance and um, we're gonna try and kill the ambulance. So as you can see here, we just completely destroy it. Fix this. So we destroyed two ambulances with the Paris, so now you know that the Paris is a very good weapon. Yeah. And... Like, the Paris is quite a good weapon. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the Paris. And my... on the Paris and it all think what you should do. Stealthy weapon. And be sure to check out my live stream later today. Uh, yeah. So, I think next episode of this series, I'll be checking out. Uh, I will be checking out the. The Hiku. And after that, I'm checking out the Orthos. But remember, it t still takes me a while to level these weapons up. I fight mods on them. Yeah, it might take a while before I get out there. But I know I've already maxed out the Hiku and the Uppos, so yeah. And, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you, this video helped you guys. And, yeah, I hope it really helped you guys out. And, yeah. Um, see you guys later. Goodbye.